I can love, read uh, through all that without laughing. I'm sorry. I love the idea too that they also celebrate the the gender reveal party with fireworks too. Like, why not? It's a good enough reason as anything. I mean, that's what they did in California, right? They set half a forest on fire. <laughs> Uh, no, what I was gonna say was playing Casino Night Zone reminds me in the IDW comics, um, which I've, I've really been enjoying. I think IDW understands, like, to, to keep a comic series, like, running, it helps to have, like, an actual story and continuity. Like, that makes sense. I get it. So they've been giving Sonic, like, a... Two. We need two more. But, uh, so, that, you know, they've been giving Sonic, like, a kind of a serious story that runs through. But they also understand Sonic is funny. Like, he's funny, and many of, most of the other characters are, too. So, there's lots of silliness throughout it. But, um, they introduced a character named Dr. Starline, who was, like, this sick, sycophantic, um, assistant to Robotnik, who just, he's a butt kisser. He's so obnoxious. He's obsessed with Robotnik. He, he's basically the... Mr. Smithers to Robotnik's Mr. Burns. Like, he's just obsessed with him to the point where he's, like, in love with a guy. It's pathetic. And, um, in one, ep in one issue of the comic, he's, like, praising Robotnik's plans. And he says, but I have a question. Why all of the, um, why all of the, um, oh, gosh, what was, how do you phrase it? Why all the, why all the theme park, um, Gosh, what is it? All, all, why all the amuse, amusement park themed traps? And Robotnik just goes, I like amusement parks. Why? And Starline says, well, yeah, but like the, the amount of, uh, the amount of money spent on designing these things and powering them. Like it just, it seems like an incredible Damn. money sink. Why would you do that? It doesn't seem to make any sense. And Robotnik says, listen, you, if I want my enemies to meet their doom surrounded by the smell of popcorn and carnival music, it's my decision to make. And he's like, yes, sir, you're so right, sir. <laughs> oh, gosh, Nobbits. <laughs> Joke's on you, man. I've started medication to get away from the intrusive thoughts. <laughs> what? Oh, he just said, uh, he just said, uh, <clears throat> See, jokes on you, for I am not the puppet at all. I am the omnipotent voice in your head. I am your intrusive thoughts. I will absolutely thrive in this role. <laughs> Say something stupid. Punch them in the face. See that kid. Goodbye. Uh, I think Puppet McNobbits is my favorite version of McNobbits. We need to keep him this way. No! Yeah, no, McBobblehead. I want to know about the new. I have something to say. Oh. I don't know. Uh, no. Uh, I do that every time. I'm not. It throws me off. Listen here, you. Like I'm not going to say it like that. <laughs> you know what? Now, just because you said that, I'm not going to say it. No, what was it? What was it you were going to say, Jess? Mm, I don't know. I think I just can't direct me. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> no way! No, <laughs> no, leave the granny alone. Okay, so, so I was just gonna say, um, we suck at taking care of aquatic pets. <laughs> we really do. It's so funny. We have too. had fish, crabs. Uh, That's about it. I wanted to say I wanted to say we had a third type of thing, but yeah, we we had some crabs, we had some fish, and they've just all been like dropping like flies. It's ridiculous. Ironically, however, on, we have flies the, the, in the house, the flip and we side, you could open quite a successful fish restaurant. Yeah, but say on on the on the flip side, however, we have flies in the house that can't won't seem to die no matter what you do. So go figure. Really? <laughs> I mean, they're just. They never go away, I mean, they just like, no matter how many of them we kill, they keep coming back. Mm. Yeah. They so what you're saying is, they always come back. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Haha, -ha, tee hee, FNAF reference, Mr. Purple. Yeah. But you know what, it gets me even more attractive than killing them with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah. It feels pretty good. Yeah, Jasmine's got to be pretty good, actually, at it. Honestly, the flies here in Florida are a lot more stupid than the ones in California. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the poor Florida educational system. <laughs> uh, maybe it's all the weed in <laughs> It could be. They're probably high from all the weed fumes. But no, California weed's a big thing too, though. No, well, 
<laughs> but I just died. California okay. is the yeah. place for you. It's weed, the I place think. for weed in the U.S. Yeah. But but at the same time, I don't really hear about every single person being high in Okeechobee. That's in that's true. Yeah, Okeechobee just has a really bad drug problem. Yeah. But the idea the mm. idea that the flies are high from all the pot smoke is really funny. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Because I'm invincible. Yes, what? Yeah. My head's rolling. I'm oh, sorry, lady. honey. My head is starting. I'm gonna curse you with this. <clears throat> Was what? that the bite of 87? <laughs> <laughs> oh that my gosh. is popping off in the chat. I can't keep up. <laughs> Okay, what? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoopsie. It's it's getting way too chaotic over here. Hey, hey, hold on, Gwen. Here, here. You come here. Hold on. We'll I know. Be right we're, back, we're, we're resituating. Yeah. Hold on. I wait, Gwen. You come over here. Go over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Isaac. Okay. I like how all this is just happening, and then Sonic is just staring at all of us. <laughs> Why not? Sonic's just disgusted at all of us. Okay, Gwen, go get food. Go the judgments. Get food. Yeah. Yes. Go get fraud. Fraud? <laughs> here, here, Isaac. Yay, I okay. Play. All right. It's been years. It's been years? Yes. Okay, it's, <laughs> what's the Pokemon meme? It's been a thousand years. <laughs> Freaking Titanic meme. It's been 84 years. <laughs> We were just talking uh, the other night about how I hate that movie. Wait, what? Titanic. Yeah, honestly. I, I don't think I've actually sat all the way through I, and watched it. I am not against a sad story and drama and stuff, but I hate movies that are made to market off of actual tragedies. Like, to me, it's incredibly yeah. tasteless. Unless it's something that, like, has great historical significance... Like, you know, there's movies based on wars and stuff like that. And yes, they're tragic, but these are movies that have, again, historical significance. They're important parts of history, and there are, you know, interesting stories connected to it. But things where it's like, hey, remember the time a bunch of people died and it was just sad and there was no reason for it? Yeah, let's make a movie for that because you just need to be reminded about how miserable you should be. They'll be, it, make, they'll be making one like that about the submarine in a while. Right. And I yes. just. I, <laughs> I find it, I find it very tasteless. I find it, um, I don't like things that just sell sadness just for the heck, heck of it. Anyway, I call it sadness porn. But on top mm. of it, I find it very disrespectful to the people who died. Um, I mean, and I know it, that's kind of, it sounds hypocritical for me to say because I'm also the kind of person who can make jokes about really dark things and stuff. So, I mean, I understand how that can sound to people, but... To me, it's like there's a difference between sarcasm and hey, let's mark it off of someone's death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unless it's Hitler. That's Unless all well and good. Well, everyone hated but him. But Novitz yeah. has given me new instructions. <clears throat> My sides are poop. I am both near and far sighted. <laughs> He wanted me to try to sing that, and my heart will go on, but I just didn't have the energy in me. You know, I was actually thinking, because, you know, we, we've talked before, uh, not in this show, but just in general, about how, well, yes, um, there are certain historical moments that can make for interesting, they're, they're interesting, there's lots of uh, interesting stories connected to it and stuff but at the same time like uh, you know i think it's okay to let world war ii go like we've done enough stories about world war ii because you were talking about though like you know hitler well yeah he was a guy everyone hated sure we can mark it off of his death but there's plenty of other people around. what about we should do movies about how much everyone hated fidel castro or something for a while you know let, let the other guys have their time in the sun about how much everyone hates them <laughs> <laughs> I would pay good money to see a movie that's just all about Fidel Castro getting hurt over and over. <laughs> maybe, maybe this sounds silly. It would probably sell well. <laughs> maybe this sounds silly, but I honestly wouldn't mind seeing a, a whole bunch of recordings. Oh, crap. Like, you talking about that just made me think, like, I wouldn't mind seeing a whole bunch of recorded footage of, uh, of Joe Biden just falling down the stairs. <laughs> be funny. Yes! Yes! <laughs> That would be so funny. No, no, I don't have falling any down. I don't have 
any political statement on it. I just want to see you hold it. It's just funny to see. Falling off the bike. Um, while it's while it's playing yakety sax. Can I have a piece of cheese? Can I have a slice of cheese? I strongly doubt Joe Biden is going to watch Play Stalkers. Wait, what if, what if we instead we put in this song? He's on his presidential campaign. He's like, and now a word from someone who means so much to me. He just gets the truth out there. Him and his friends, they have the deepest political talks. Just take a look, and it's just play stonkers right in the background <laughs> on the big uh, projector screen. You know, screen. the sad thing is, as delusional as he seems to be at times, I wouldn't really be surprised. <laughs> I would totally buy it. If you told me that happened, I'd be like, yes, yeah, that's about right. That's what he does when he's campaigning in Florida. Which, which now it just, it makes me think about, it makes me think about, um... Joe, but... Well, as you say, it makes me think of the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. I don't know if you ever watched Rocky and Bullwinkle, but there was a running gag throughout the show. Um, Rocky and Bullwinkle uh, would always have, like, the segments at the beginning and end of the show that were Rocky and Bullwinkle adventures, and then there'd be, like, a funny I mean, show in the middle, like uh, Mr. Peabody or whatever. But then they'd also have these little yeah. short... They'd have, like, these little short, like, you know, three or four second little um, vignettes, like, in between. And one of them was mm -hmm. a running gag about how Bullwinkle wanted to do the pulling a rabbit out of my hat trick, but he always screwed it up. Hey, so, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my right, hat. Right, and I could just picture, because, like, just again, like, how delusional he seems to be. I could just see, like, <laughs> Joe Biden, I can't remember the vice president's name. It always goes out of my head. But, like, I could just picture, like, this thing, and he's like, hey, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat, screws it up, and she looks hey, at the Kevin audience. Hey, Harris, watch me pull a lemon head out of my hat. <laughs> <Right? laughs> and just, he screws it up, then she looks at the audience. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. Puts on Play Stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Rocky and Bullwinkle straight up with the two of them. <laughs> no, like, everyone here is missing out. All of you guys are missing out. Yeah. You guys don't have a Zaxby's. We do have a Zaxby's. No, no, no. They oh, they don't have a oh, Zaxby's. That's right. Now it says something to say. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Guys, that's so an elderly good. gentleman. Come on, Mato. No one is that senile. <laughs> Just like you. Mm, none of this is real. Please wake up. It's been 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all in my head is what you're getting at? You're just in the hospital in a coma, and you have come with the frog staring over you going, you need to make up, math. You need to wake up, Well, Matt. listen, if my fantasy world means I get to have wacky cartoon friends and play video games with them, then I don't want to wake up. Although I can't believe my fantasy world also involves me working as a pizza delivery driver, so, yeah, you know, maybe it's worth waking up after all. <laughs> Oh, oh crap! What if my know, real maybe life in that job fantasy is even... world? The tips are like eighty, fifty, eight hundred fifty dollars <laughs> But I was gonna say, crap! Tonight. What if my real world job is even worse? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you have to be a bureaucrat. You to be a bureaucrat. <laughs> I'm, I'm Joe Biden Dad, in the real world. <laughs> Dad, you're, 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 I don't know if they can hear you. You need to wake up, Joe. There, <laughs> you gotta go hit the polls, <laughs> Joe. Oh, we just missed it. You can't be eating ice cream at 3 a.m. Uh, anymore, Joe. It's messing with your head. Dad, Dad, Dad. Can I have a slice of cheese, please? A slice of cheese? Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Okay, I'll get a slice of cheese. Oh, yeah, McDonald's is right. Yeah, that is the thing with fantasy worlds. They always. <laughs> they're always just showing you the fun side. Yeah, that is the thing with fantasy worlds. They always. They're always just show the fun side. You are correct, now, but You don't have to do. Usually in the fantasy worlds, you don't have to deal with all the dark shadows of reality. That's right. Uh, they can but creep in slowly but surely without your uh, even your knowledge. Here's my question. Hold so on. Finally, boom. Here's my question. What if in the real world I am Joe Biden? However, as Joe Biden, I well that's that I was not what I was getting at, but I was gonna say. However, as Joe Biden. I actually get the rabbit out of the hat trick right every time. Wait, wait, wait. Here, hang on a second. <laughs> that is what we call world peace, Joe. <laughs> if, you, if you take off your glasses, do I have permission to slap the, the cheese onto your face? Yes! What? We're doing the meme! We're doing the meme! Yes! 
She slap, she slap, she slap, she slap. Well, Not I'm going to it yet, but I'm pretty sure that he would agree with the cheese slap. I'm going to have to uh I'm going to have to sort of uh practice my skills in animating on that one. All right. <laughs> that would be correct. <laughs> yep, editor. Big editor. Wait, can we get some big Mario stuff? Some big Mario stuff. Like what? Like Like do you want us to do another Mario game? No, the Video edited of the edited. The like, big Mario. What are you talking about? Oh, do you want me to do? Do you want me to do some more of Super Mario Brothers? The Super Mario no, Bros. Two playthrough. Put the picture in the video. With, with I don't know what you're talking about, Isaac. No, the big Mario picture. What big Mario picture? When I edited of the video. You know, Is it the, the big one Mario where you made picture. Mario look super fat or something. Yeah. Um, I guess if you still have it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the issue, isn't it? I, I can probably Chunky find it. Mario. It's Chunky Mario. It's Chunky Mario. It's Chunky Mario? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna make it this time. Yeah, I don't think we will either. Oh crap! Okay, jump. Okay, at this point, it's just a pattern thing. Jump. 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 This is actually. Jump. Funny. Jump! 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 We got Jump. it! We got it! Yes, we got it. We got it, Isaac. That was intense, man. No! Oh, <laughs> oh that was loud. I'm wearing my plague doctor mask. <laughs> Jazz, no one's gonna see that. I don't care. <laughs> or probably hear it because you're muffled. I don't and care. <laughs> Tell them, man, if they can't hear me. <laughs> One, more, uh -oh. two, <laughs> I'm just walking two. on spikes. Guys, tell them. <coughs> Jasmine's wearing her plague doctor mask. Cool. Oh, wow, Isaac, that was right in my ear. Are you blue? Really, Sam? Really, you think I'm going to be back to respond to that? Yeah. Oh, Isaac, that's Isaac. right in my ear, man. Please, dude. I, I, I think we might have lost them in the call, honestly. Guys. No, I killed their, um... You killed their audio with your screaming. Guys. <laughs> I didn't know I was screaming that loud. Yeah, I think we might have lost them. Oh, no. Guys. Yes, what? Imagine, imagine can, can Amy just call the Sonic to Amy? What? Uh, hey, hey, Sonic, Sonic. What? Hey, Amy. Okay. Amy, what? Each other on the so, uh, uh huh. <laughs> me. Oh, oh okay. Isaac, don't do that, bud. So, uh, uh, uh huh. Where, where is this going, okay. Quinn? I Hi, my is Is this just? <laughs> and then we're gonna go on a date. Cartoon <laughs> characters having totally normal married. conversations. I don't think Sonic would ever <laughs> agree to that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna check and see. Yeah, we've. Um, oh, okay. I, hold on. I see what happened. Um, hold on. Hold on. My brain is rotting. I think we lost them. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna we're gonna, just gonna get through this. We're just gonna get through this. We'll see what happens. Just stay there on the side, Isaac. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Please don't yeah. Please Try to stay right in the right position. This channel and this video, y'all. Please, please don't tell yeah, so anyone I that we killed mm -hmm. along with Yep. Them. That, that we killed Sam? Yeah. Yeah, well, it happens sometimes. Well, then why would you admit it if you don't want anyone to tell? No one tells. Well, look, if everyone knows the secret, then 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 they're all in on it. What See? Is then we don't have to worry about someone finding out. Just kidding. I love you all, but you're all terrible people. <laughs> no. oh, Isaac, what? Right in my ear again. I don't notice I do it. Yeah, but the thing is... You, the thing is, you turn and direct your mouth <laughs> right into my ear yeah. and do it. That's the thing. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> the uh, volume isn't so much the issue. It's the fact that you're positioning it. The thing, the thing yeah. with our kids is that they love their daddy so much, especially Isaac. They love their daddy so much that <laughs> Too they, much. Literally, they literally want to fuse in. Yes. <laughs> what? You, you like you squirm up against me like you're trying to physically merge with me. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of creepy. They want to become an amalgamation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that one dog thing in Undertale. Yes. Except that one is actually legitimately it's, creepy. Uh, really creepy, yeah. Yeah. So, Crazy. while we're on this subject yeah. about how monumentally self-destructive <laughs> these three children are, <laughs> especially like Gwendolyn. Gwen, Gwendolyn is like on a mission to destroy herself. Gwen, quit acting like you're going to eat See what I mean? <laughs> but um, Gwen, on the discussion, the laptop, careful. on the discussion of these kids literally <laughs> knocking their own teeth out, which Gwendolyn did. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's the story about how Isaac <laughs> lost his two front teeth uh, far earlier than he probably should have. Yeah, and he and was he could very young. Isaac was, he was, he was just two dead. years old, I think. Two or three. Was... Two or three, and we had a baby gate um, in front of the kitchen because, oh, of course, you don't want the baby getting into the kitchen. It's dangerous stuff is in there or anything. So we had a baby gate in front of the kitchen, and for whatever strange reason, whenever Isaac would get angry about things, he would smash his face against whatever it was that made him angry. And we would try to get him to stop. He's like, Isaac, you're going to hurt yourself. It's not going to help anything. But he would particularly would get angry that like I'd be cooking in the kitchen or doing something in the kitchen. He couldn't go in there. And so he'd get angry and smash his face, his mouth specifically against the gate. And every time, reel back, grabbing his mouth and crying. And be like, Isaac, stop. You're going to hurt yourself. And then ultimately, we had a little park bench outside of our apartment as well. And Isaac decided to get angry and mouth wide open, mind you, smash his face yeah, against it. That. I remember that moment. And he, like, he cracked his like... teeth. Or, I can't remember exactly what word, but we had to take it to the dentist. The dentist was like, oh, yeah, we got to take those teeth out. Yeah, I cracked my tooth. Mm hmm Yeah, I remember it. So anyway. Isaac lost his teeth at an early age because he wouldn't stop smashing his face against things. And then he stopped after that. I, I have to ask, <coughs> how, how did you stop after that? Did you just... Decide that it was a bad idea. I, I think so. I don't. I don't remember. I think he that. just kind of outgrew it, because yeah. I want to say that even after that point, he wouldn't so much smash his face against things, but if he was mad, he would swing his head like a wrecking ball at whatever made him angry, <laughs> and again be upset that it hurt. <laughs> so that's Isaac. <laughs> I don't know why, but there you yeah, have I, it. I remember getting home from Ow, the dentist. expressing my rage. I, I, think it's, I think it's funny, too, because Isaac has been like, I don't really remember anything from being two or three, because, like, who does? I don't remember anything from being three, two or three, but I remember coming home groggy from the dentist's office. Yeah, I don't remember banging my head Of all the, the weird bench. things to remember. Yeah, he I doesn't remember, yeah, banging his head on the bench. I Those are, like, the two only things I remember. I remember when I was a baby. And when I was, like, woke up. Speaking, hey, speaking of benches, it's another story. Did, have I have I told the story about my dad and the bench? No. On the show? Oh, tell it, tell it, tell I it. I can't remember if I told the story. Uh, okay. I know. Yeah, I told okay, guys, so, guys, everyone listen. Okay, everyone go, ahead, listen. go ahead. Also, stop pulling the wire, honey. You're going to unplug it again. Okay, yeah. so my mom and dad went to uh, college and majored in theater. And um, the, the college they went to didn't uh, put a lot of money into the theater program. So when they were, whenever they were going to do a play, they had to make do with whatever they had for props and scenery, which meant lots of times they had to kind of steal, quote unquote, borrow things from around the campus to put on stage. And one of the restrooms, I think it was, had a yes, park sure. bench in it for whatever reason. I don't know why, but they had like a, a wooden bench in there. And um, so dad... And his friend Noel um, sneaked into the uh, restroom one night when they thought no one was watching to go and steal the park bench to put it on the stage. As they were doing so, one of the faculty members, um, I, I don't remember if it was like a professor or a, uh, with RA, basically like someone who like, can make sure no one's causing trouble like in the dorms or anything. Yeah. Someone, however, ca caught hold of what was going on, and they bumped into them, and was giving them a nasty look, like, "Hey, what do you?" And it says, "Like, you know, what do you guys plan on doing with that park bench?" And Dad panicked. 
but he said his friend Noel just looked like real suspicious over both his shoulders to make sure no one was listening, then leaned in with like the most wicked grin on his face and said, we're gonna smoke it. <laughs> And the guy was so confused. He just stared at them. Just and just eventually went, oh. Okay then. <laughs> and just You're let gone. them go. <laughs> and uh afterwards when they got out, apparently dad like kinda like kicked him in the shit. Like, we're gonna smoke it. What kind of stupid answer is that? And he said, Noel, Noel just went like it got us out, didn't it? And he fell for it. <laughs> and I just every time I love the mental image of them just taking a massive park bench, lighting it like a cigarette, and putting it up to their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to draw that someday. It's, oh my gosh, it's still one of my favorite stories. <laughs> if I ever get the what chance, what is Tails doing? I'm freaking you, out. You were doing it too, yeah, you were making a dance. He was pogging over there. <laughs> um, Podger. Yeah. But uh, if, if I ever bring back Ask Vaudeville or anything, I, it's been frustrating because I don't have a lot of time. And so things that don't pay off, unfortunately, as far as money goes, I can't afford to do a lot of times. It's a shame. Uh, so let that be a lesson to you folks. Support me on Patreon or I'll die or something. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I flushed him down the toilet. <laughs>